This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an OnGuard 6-foot bicycle cable lock. Now before we talk about what it takes to pick it open, I want to show you the packaging because there were a few things on there that caught my eye. The first is the 3 out of 5 security rating, which I personally think borders on delusional. These braided steel cables need to either be much thicker or have an armored cover before they can be seen as anything but the lowest of security options. Second, the packaging advertises X2 power double bolt locking. And as I look carefully at the mechanism drawn in this little picture here, I see something that bears absolutely no resemblance to what's actually inside of the lock. What's actually inside, and I'll show you this in just a moment, is a single spring-loaded locking bolt. Then moving over on the packaging a bit, we can see the Z-cylinder advertised, which offers, quote, high pick protection. Now this does have the Z-cylinder, though we can certainly debate the characterization of pick resistance, but it does not have the pictured 8-slider variant. What's inside of this lock is the 6-slider version. Okay. That's all on the packaging, let's move on to the lock itself. We have a six foot long cable that I'm guessing is roughly three eighths of an inch thick. Of course, on top of that is a rubber coating to prevent scratching. The integrated lock has what appears to be a cast zinc housing, which could probably be melted without too much difficulty. Then inside of that is that Z cylinder we discussed with six sliders and two sidebars. It bears some note that this is the lowest security variant of the cylinder that I've ever seen. Others are either 8 or 10 sliders. In any case, let's see what it takes to pick this one open. Okay, I'm going to use top of the keyway tension with a little Z-bar that fits inside of there just perfectly. Then to manipulate the sliders, I'm going to be using this standard hook in 18 thousandths inserting it sideways and then rotating it to lift each of the sliders up. And of course this lock likes very stout tension so that's what I'm using. Nothing on one, nothing on two, I'm sorry click out of two there, one on three, click out of three. Back to one, nothing there, click out of two, click out of three, click out of one, Click out of two, nothing on three, click out of one, and we just dropped into a false set. That probably means that we're done with the right side bank of sliders, so let's move over to the left side. Click out of one, and looks like we just opened that up. Okay, so two and three must have been very low set. Let me show you that single bolt locking mechanism now. I'll insert the key here, and if we zoom in, you can see just a single spring-loaded locking lug. At least I hope you can see that. So certainly not the mechanism that was pictured on the packaging. In any case, as you saw, this did not take very long to pick open, though for me the real problem is the weak construction, which probably means you shouldn't rely on this to protect anything but very low value items. That's it for today on this OnGuard 6-foot bicycle cable lock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.